Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's look, I'm starting with the Melt Cosmetics Rushed Eyeshadow. This is such a gorgeous shade. It has a sort of warm reddish brown undertone. And I'm going to use this as my crease color. So I'm basically uh, making a line which will be my crease. And I'm using a very tiny Morphe brush. And today I'm going to end the crease line with a sort of wing effect. Now I'm going in with Melt Cosmetics Rubbish Eyeshadow. This is a soft peachy yellow shade and this is perfect to apply in your crease as a transition shade. So I'm going to blend this all over the crease, also along the crease line that I created. And the brush that I'm using is by Makeup Geek, but I'm not sure if it's still available. Now I'm going to use the shade Rule by MAC Cosmetics. It's a very pretty warm orange shade. It's one of the first shades that I have ever purchased from MAC. And this is definitely a must-have shade. Makeup Geek and Anastasia don't have a shade like this. This shade is very universal. And I'm just going to blend this also in my crease along the crease line using a Morphe M506 brush. Now I'm going back in with a rubbish eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics. And I'm using that same blending brush by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to blend this along the edges to make sure that all the shades that I applied before are well blended in. Now I'm going back in with that Rust Eyeshadow by Melt which I used at the beginning to create that crease line. And I'm using a very tiny blending brush which I believe is also by Morphe. And I'm just going over the line that I created at the beginning to make it look more intense. But also to blend out that line a little bit more, since it's very obvious. So I just wanted to blend more in the shades that I applied after that. So I applied on top of the line, but I'm also going up a little bit higher. And I'm going in with my Morphe M506 brush with that same eyeshadow on it. And I'm just going to build, uh, and I'm just going to blend that back and forth. And don't worry if the eyeshadow comes on your eyelid, we will clean it up later. So now I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. And I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid and also um, straight underneath that crease line. So that's why I said don't worry if the eyeshadow comes on your eyelid because we will clean it up right now. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush. This isn't meant for concealer as far as I know but I really like to use this for carving out that cut crease and if you aren't really satisfied with your crease how it's blended then you can go back in uh, with lighter shades to make it more blended out now I'm using my finger to blend it in my foundation now I'm going back in with a rubbish eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics and I'm going to softly press this at the not at the beginning beginning of the lid, but a little bit next to it. And to be honest, it didn't really pack really nice on the eyelid, so I'm not sure if it even was worth doing it. So now I'm using the NYX Felt Tip Liner, and this is just to create a sort of uh, guideline uh, where I'm going to apply my liquid liner afterwards. So now you can see that I'm going in with liquid liner. So the line that I created before was just to see where I want to go in with the liquid since I find it really hard to go straight in with liquid since it can get really messy. You need to be really precise and I always find it quite hard to be honest. So when I'm done with that I'm going to use the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Eyeshadow. This is a matte black shade and I'm just going to fill in the outer edge of my wing. Um, yes, this will make it easier to blend in the other eyeshadows. So now I'm going in with the Rust eyeshadow again by Melt Cosmetics. And I'm going to apply this next to it. So that's why I went in with the black eyeshadow. Because when I didn't apply black eyeshadow at the uh, outer V, then it would be harder to apply this brown shade. Because it's harder to blend it in, into eyeliner. And it's easier to blend it towards a black eyeshadow. So now I'm going to use the Enchanted 
pigment by makeup addiction this is how it looks on the fingers i just wanted to show you how the eye color looks uh, when you swatch it and it's just a very pretty gold bronzy shade so i used my mac 2 for 2 brush to apply this on the eyelids and i made my brush a little bit wet to make it more intense and i like to start with a dry brush and apply it and then at the end i make my brush wet and then i apply another layer to make it more intense so now I'm going to use this gold glitter by Certify, I'm not sure what the color is, but it's like a bronzy coppery brown glitter. And it's so pretty as you can see, and I'm going to use MAC Mixing Medium Gel on my MAC 2 for 2 brush. And then I'm going in with my brush into the glitter, and I'm trying to press this right on top of my eyeshadow. And since the pigment is kind of metallic, shimmery that I applied on the lid, it will be really easy to apply the glitters on top of it because it will basically melt into the eyeshadow. So now I'm going back in with my liquid liner and I'm just creating a line above my lash line. This is better for when you apply fake lashes. It just looks prettier in my opinion. And I'm going back in with the Melt Cosmetics Rust Eyeshadow. And I'm going to blend this shade underneath my lower lash line. And I'm just going back and forth with my brush. This is one by Sigma. And I'm going in with the Dark Matter Eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics, the matte black shade. And I'm using a flat definer brush by Sigma. And I'm just going to press this in the outer V to connect my cat wing with the eyeshadows underneath. I think it just looks a little bit better. And now I'm going in with Makeup Geek Chickadee. I'm going to use this shade to blend that all out. Uh, I just really like the warmth of the chickadee eyeshadow and yes, I'm just going back and forth with my brush to blend it all out. Now I'm going in with the shade Sin City by Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply this a little bit at the inner corner underneath the lower lash line. I really like that gold pop. It's kind of familiar with the shade on the eyelid and I just wanted the shade to come back underneath the eyes. And to make the eye look complete i'm going in with the mac nylon eyeshadow i'm going to pop this all the way in my inner corner and i applied quite a lot because i really wanted that shade to be pop poppy and i just wanted it to be very clear and obvious so yes uh, now it's time for the face and i use the urban decay all nighter foundation for my concealer i use the shape tape concealer by tarte cosmetics i did this off camera but just so you know what i used and i'm going in with the mac medium golden mineralized powder i am using a big fluffy brush by morphe brushes to press this in my skin i really like a matte finish when it comes to foundation and i'm going to use the Suntan suntan bronzer and this is my current favorite bronzer the uh, texture of this bronzer is really smooth and the color is really nice and it's just easy to apply so I really like to use this and the bronzer has a sort of cool undertone so it's really nice to, to bronze your forehead but also to carve out the cheekbones. And I'm going to use the Dose of Colors Gold is the new black highlighter and I just wanted to show you a swatch on the fingers and how it looks blended out on the skin to give you a feel of how the shade looks. It's a sort of champagne gold um, color which I really like, I feel like it suits really well my, my skin tone. So yes, if you're searching for something like this, this is definitely a very nice highlighter. And I did make my brush a little bit wet to make it look a little bit more intense. And the finish kind of reminds me of the So Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So for my blush, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Blush Duo in 18 and 90. And I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. I wasn't sure what kind of blush I wanted to use but since I knew I was going for brown lips and I'm also wearing brown on the eyes I wanted to go for a pink blush to freshen it all up. And I'm using my beauty blender to blend in that highlighter so it looks a little bit more natural and blended into the skin. Now for my lips I'm going to use the NYX Natural Lip Liner. This used to be one of my favorite lip liners. I still really like it. It looks very familiar with my own natural lip color. And on top of that, I'm going to use the Lipland Cosmetics 88 Liquid in collaboration with Amrezi. And I'm going to apply this right on top of the lips. And this is my current favorite liquid lipstick, I guess. I saw Amrezi wearing it on Snapchat and I was like, oh my god, I need to use this. And I feel like it also suits very well with my complexion. I just really love this shade. 
and I will be using it way more often. So I was trying to do my hair, but I don't know. I have very long hair and I just don't know what to do with it. It always looks so flat, I don't know. Um, but yes, this is already the end of the tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed. This tutorial kind of screams summer to me, even though it will take a long time here in the Netherlands for it to be summer again. Um, but yes, I'm really excited for summer and let me know in the comments what kind of looks you want to see on my channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!